Xanafan 97203 here. We're here with like our 15,000th try at making a discussion video. A mixture of siblings and a bit not knowing what's going on has uh, made this quite difficult. Um, what are you gonna do? I'm probably about to die. It's not good. Boom! Oh, there's two of them! Okay, so, topic is Halo 5, right? A lot of people have said it's a failure, right? Have you heard, have you heard about that? But a lot of people have complained about Halo 5. Yeah, they don't like it. Especially, uh, what you guys know him as, Rave. Rave doesn't like it. Yeah, Rave does not like it. Um, I don't know if I'd say hates, but he doesn't like it. He's kind of done with Halo. He doesn't like any of the new ones. In general, he just doesn't like 343, but I think that might be some bias. A lot of same with the other people. But let's let's talk about what's good and what's bad with Halo 5. You haven't played Halo 5 all that much. So I'll try and... I'll, I'll try... You did? Okay, never mind. He's played Halo 5 plenty. Division? I don't remember crap from Halo 5. All I know is the orders are complicated. I couldn't build Master Crap anymore. Okay. We'll go along with that. So, first of all, let's talk about what isn't good about Halo 5. And he already mentioned it. Overly complicated Forge. Forge is awesome that they've expanded it. So there's a lot of cool, like, really cool new things. But, at the same time, you've got to have some simplicity there. It's it's very hard to understand what's going on, you know? So, it, it does make it difficult. Um, but, the thing about that is... I mean, I don't want to justify it, but I can at least give a reason for why I think that happened. I think it happened because of the fact that it was, like, how do I put it? People who spent most of their time on Forge, they're the ones who helped 343 with this project. So, it's going to be a lot more based around the hardcore Forge people, not based around the people who don't do Forge as much. So, you know, it, it is kind of... I killed a person. That was not like for me. Wait, you're gonna hold me, Mike. Oh, I can't tell we'll be using again. Back here in a sec. Um, so where were we? Ah, yes, we were talking about four. Yeah. So. That's a bomb. Um, but, I mean, if, if you let the hardcore people help design it, it makes sense to a certain degree, but at the same time, it's, it's not good for those people who aren't hardcore, you know? Yeah, like, I agree. In, so, Forge isn't a failure, as some people would have you believe. It is very well a success, but just a lot of people can't use it because it is complicated because it is designed for those people who spend most of their time playing Halo just in Forge. Yeah. So. So it is kind of sad, but it is understandable. 
can't... Did, did they already kill that guy? I think they did. So... What else is wrong, you might be asking. You, know, you mentioned a lot of people really don't like it. Well... Not you, but... I, <laughs> like, from the audience's perspective, I mentioned that, so they'd be like, Well, you mentioned that a lot of people didn't like it. Man, Fran, you're the lying phenomenon, unsubscribe. Stupid. Um. And, like. It's. A lot of it, you could say, is just personal preference. But at the same time. But at the same time. You have to remember that there are a lot, I mean, a lot of people who don't want Kotan to come back after she's dead. You know? So when, when she came back, spoiler alert if you didn't know, but, uh, oh well. <laughs> really should. If you don't have it, then you must have found out at least that Cortana's in it. I'm not gonna spoil what you role she plays. Already. I'm not gonna spoil what role she plays. I'm just gonna say that a lot of people don't like the role she played, and a lot of people don't like the fact that she's back from the dead. Spoiler for Halo 4, which if you're watching this and you haven't played Halo 4, what are you doing? Don't Why? Halo 4 in the end, Cortana yeah. dies, Master Chief's floating in space, Didag dies too. Lu -lu 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 -lu. Can't catch me. Hunter probably can. There's a hunter nearby. I, not, I, just, just, just go back to sleep, bit. <laughs> so, a lot of people didn't like the Cortana aspect. They also didn't like the fact that it's not the same exact game as Halo 3. Which, this part doesn't bother me, because if they kept it the same every single time, it would start to feel more like Call of Duty, where every game is the same. We could start to get that vibe. That's not what we want. So they changed it up, and I'm happy about that. I am. The changes th that they made, some of them I don't quite agree with, but... You know what? It's, it's an overall well-done game. I enjoy Halo 5. I think it's a good game. Well-built. Not the best Halo, but hey, it's good. So, you know, there are, as I said, those people who are like, It's not the same exact thing as Halo 1, 2, and 3. I hate it. Four, four. I hate you. It... <laughs> God damn it, bit. So, there is that. Gotta kinda accept the fact that it did change, and it had to change. <laughs> Besides that, you're probably wondering. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like people who are nostalgic are annoyed. That's it. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly today. And, really, that is it. People who have a ton of nostalgia for Halo are the only ones who are truly angry about this. Um, so, there, there is that fact. Now, I will say... The campaign did focus more on Locke than I would have wanted to, especially with all of the emotion that they could have gotten out of Master Chief. And Arena isn't really all that impressive, but Warzone is great. That's what it's called. Warzone. As I was talking about about a half hour ago. Okay then. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like the game is worthy of some praise. As I mentioned earlier, it's not the best Halo game. It doesn't need to be. You have to remember, 343, as a company, didn't exist in, like... Well, when, when were they founded? Maybe 2011, I think it was? Maybe 2012. I don't know. 343 hasn't existed all that long. The only games that they've done is Halo 4, Halo 5, and the Spartan Strike Assault things that sucked. Yeah, they did. 
they're putting effort into it. And, I mean, you have to, you have to give them some credit. You're comparing it to Bungie, who we all know is superior. So no, I'm not saying Halo 5 is the best Halo ever. I'm not saying it's an amazing game. I'm just saying it is a good game. People who say it is the worst Halo game are very wrong. So, I know what you're thinking. I'm probably like, Halo 5, really? I, I, don't really, I don't really mind if they don't change anything. Obviously, they will change some stuff. But there's one thing that I really don't want to change in one specific way. Microtransactions. I'm not saying I don't want them to leave. I'd be fine if they got rid of microtransactions. I'm just saying I don't want them... Like, okay. <laughs> I don't want them to change specifically. What I'm saying, like, <laughs> I don't want them to turn into pay to win. I want them to stay as pay to get a very slight edge that doesn't really matter, and that won't really change the gameplay all that much. That, in all honesty, usually will just get your guy looking a little bit different. Whoop to freaking do. I'm fine with that. That That is probably the best way, in my opinion, that they could have done those microtransactions. But I do worry that in the future, they could potentially attempt to use these microtransactions to turn them into pay-to-win, and possibly even a pay-to-play kind of model. Well, bit, bit there's a lot of things you don't get. Apparently not. I <laughs> Doesn't it? Fits into the fits fits into the round one. No, the round one. No, round one. Round. No, choke up there. There we go. Look at that. Alright. Now... Holy crap, I'm in first place. Yay. Uh... So, some of you, at this point, are probably thinking, okay, microtransactions could be done wrong. We all know this, but they did them right. So let's just say they'll do them wrong. I'm not saying they're going to do them incorrectly in Halo 6. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, we need to be cautious, and if it starts to seem like that's what's gonna happen, we need to speak out. And honestly, we should probably already speak out and say, don't do this, you ain't gonna like the- Oh, I just killed myself. Uh, but, you, you oh, won't- You just, like you need to understand that we have to be careful, you know? We can't just expect them to know exactly what we want. We have to speak out. We have to kind of tell them the kind of stuff we want. We have to, we have to not be so passive. There's a lot of people that are extremely passive when it comes to liking a game. They, they don't really really care about what happens to the game, they just kind of enjoy that one game, and so they played it, they had fun, not really going to play any of the others, they had a good time, good for them. That's, that's not what we need in the Halo community. So if we can just speak out on what we like and what we don't like, they can easily make Halo 6 a great, great game. This discussion is horrible. <laughs> I know. I I'm not even gonna lie. This is this is a crappy discussion. Um. So. 
video. Probably will be. Um. <laughs> Thanks, bit. So, you have so much faith in me. Oh no, it's because I'm in it. It's not because it's not because it's, yeah, you know. I see. <laughs> I see you're dragging my videos down. Ah. No, your evil mastermind plan all along. Oh. I have no clue. <laughs> Whatever. So that's that's kind of that's that's my opinion on Halo Five. Take it or leave it. Say what you want. Hate the game, love the game. I don't care. It's your opinion. You don't. Your your opinion doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so. Probably will. Probably will. All right. So that's that's all for this discussion. Comment down below topics in the future. Uh, if you want to be in more of these discussions, comment down below about that. Probably will. So, yeah. It's off now. See you guys on the next one. Lick and subscribe and goodbye.